few days ago i got a mail i am reading it i am having my laptop listen carefully hello bhaiya i am from bareilly up last i have completed my 12th from bio stream and further i want to pursue food technology for my career recently i watched your video of difference between bsc and btech food technology and decided to go for btech as it has some advantages over bsc but the point is i am from bio stream but btech is a technical course with some mathematical portion that's true and my maths portion is quite weak so i am confused that going for btech degree in food technology will be a right decision or it may ruin my future सो so, भैया ये बताइए कि मैथ्स बीटेक में किस लेवल तक की आती है क्योंकि टेंथ तक तो कड़ी है लेकिन ऐसा ना हो कि बीटेक के दौरान कहीं मेरी बैक आने लगे मैथ्स में होप यू गॉट माई पॉइंट आई विल आई विल वेट फॉर योर रिप्लाई प्लीज हेल्प मी आउट ब्रदर सी आई जस्ट वॉन्ट टू से वन थिंग इफ यू आर इन ट्वेल्थ स्टैंडर्ड और ट्वेल्थ पास आउट और वॉन्ट टू परस्यू योर करियर विद बी टेक फूड टेक्नोलॉजी देन प्लीज डॉन्ट जस्ट दी कोर्स ऑन द बेसिस ऑफ ओनली वन सब्जेक्ट that is mathematics this statement will make more sense if you will watch this video till the end so basically if you are in 12th standard or 12th pass out with pcb physics chemistry biology and want to continue your career with btech food technology then please do not stop yourself or restrict yourself on the basis of only one subject that is mathematics and whenever in this video i am saying mathematics that's mean engineering mathematics see there are certain steps if you will follow then trust me you will not face any hurt see i can understand this situation because i am also the student of biology and when i was in 12th standard then these questions were also coming in my mind and at that time i was scared and nervous but how i tackled this situation how i am here in the 6th semester without any back i will tell you in this video so hello guys my name is shreyans i am a third year student of btech food technology and on this youtube channel you will get all these kind of informative videos okay so i will start with the real life story hear me out till the end okay so it's about me and one of my friend from my batch that was the time of first semester and after two days we had to appear for our first semester exam of mathematics then my friend called me and asked me how was i preparing for the exam and told me that he was not getting anything and requested me to help him out then after listening to him i just thought twice because at that point of time I was also afraid because that was the first semester exam for me also but I replied to him okay bro I will come to your room and we will study together and if you are having any doubt then I will help you out so as I promised I went to his room with my class notes and rough copy and we sat together and I asked him to take out his own class notes then he said he was not having any class notes because he did not attended any class of maths then I was completely shocked because after 2 days we had to attend the exam then i asked him why you did so then he simply replied because bro i was not getting anything and i also missed some of the classes initially at the start of the semester then i just looked at him because we are not having a lot of time to prepare i said forget about all those and obviously he was not getting anything it quite obvious that if throughout the semester you have not attended any classes you have not studied anything especially in this subject you are not good at and if you want good marks in that subject then definitely it is not possible okay so by this situation we can guess the result he got back in that semester he got back in maths although he was very talented yes i have to say that he got good marks in other subject his overall cgpa was very good but he got back in maths and in the second semester from the start of the semester he was so attentive he started studying with me since from the start of the semester and did not approached me at the end of the semester this time although in this semester also he was not getting anything in the class but he consulted with me with other batchmates with respective teachers and cleared all the doubts before the end sem and guess what he scored good marks in the second semester and in this semester also he was afraid that he will get back in this semester as well but he got good marks so what you should learn from my experience let's discuss point wise First point it's okay if you are not understanding mathematics at least try to attend all the lectures effectively that's what i did and that's what you should do if you are in first semester of college if you want to pursue your career with btech food technology and you are from pcb group attend all the lectures effectively and make your own proper notes the second point is whatever you learned in the class try to solve all those questions or related questions on the same day If not possible revise those topic and practice question during the time of weekends see during the time of first semester during the time of second semester we all are having lot of time if you want you can learn easily so utilize those time to develop the skills in which you are not good at see if you will simply sit and think how i will do how i will do 
let's go for a walk with, with my friend and after returning to my room i will cover this topic then it will not work what you are doing in this case you are just neglecting your weaknesses nothing else and you know what by doing this the syllabus will go vast and vast and you will feel more burden on yourself at last so avoid creating these type of situation study regularly if you are not good in any subject not only maths now the third point is consult with your teachers tell them about your problem if not publicly in front of the class then into their office yes try to connect with your teachers they will definitely help you and if you do not want to do so then build connection with your seniors ask for help ask for previous year questions ask for the notes they will definitely help you now the fourth point is try to connect with those students in your class who are doing well in maths or having pcm subject in 12th standard they will help you definitely and after getting help from your batchmates offer them chai and samosa Yes why not these things are quite common see one thing for sure there are no necessity of the third point and the fourth point if you are following the first and second point effectively because after following the first and second point you will get good marks not only passing marks good marks in this subject in engineering mathematics always remember while following the first two points always stay motivated and always focus on yes i can do it not on how i will do it and always remember if you will skip first two point and then directly jump to the third and fourth point and let's say you are approaching to the teacher that i am not able to understand this topic because he may have taught that topic well while he was teaching in the class how would you know you were not attending the classes so even the teachers will not pay attention to your weakness why is it so because you did not even tried and not only this you will also not feel confident in front of the teacher so these are the things that you have to keep in mind don't be afraid with this engineering mathematics while choosing this course btech food technology if you are interested in btech food technology then try to explore some other aspects like what are the different subjects that we have to study throughout the four year i will attach this in the i button or i will attach this in the description section so check these things what are the job opportunities which i am not able to comment on because i am also a student so that's it for this video if you have any questions any suggestions let me know in the comment section or you may also connect with me on linkedin i just made a fresh profile on linkedin i will add some of the content there also so connect with me there and directly ask if you have any query any question thanks for watching i will see you in my next video stay safe stay healthy take care guys bye